ready. Before we activate local pickup and or local delivery for your business, which we will do in my next lesson, when we go into your shipping and delivery settings, we first need to look at your locations settings and make any necessary modifications and additions. Merchants considering the Zapiet local pickup and local delivery method should also follow along because some of this also affects Zapiet. For example, in the Zapiet Pro plan, you can import the locations that we are setting up in Shopify's built-in method into Zapiet, syncing their inventories in real time for pickup orders. So what is a location? A location is a physical place or an app where you do any or all of the following activities. Sell products, ship or fulfill orders, stock inventory. Setting up locations is quick and really easy. In addition to this lesson, I suggest you check my resource section for a link to the Shopify Help Center and review the most current documentation for setting up locations. For brand new Shopify merchants with one location where you stock and ship your inventory for both your website as well as selling in person to brick and mortar customers such as one retail apparel store with all of your inventory stocked in that location, setting up your single location is simple. And if you have multiple locations, such as several brick and mortar stores, for example, and perhaps a warehouse where you stock and ship some of your inventory, Shopify makes it equally easy to set up these multiple locations, as well as assigning specific inventory to these locations. So, let's get going. In your Shopify admin, click on Settings, and then click on Locations. If this is a new Shopify site, you will see that Shopify has already set up one location for you. It's based on the store details you set up in your general settings. Let's click on it. We'll review this location from top to bottom. First, we'll change the name of the location to something more customer friendly because your customer will see the location name during checkout for local pickup. So in my case, it's Roby's Donut Joint Main Store. Since this is your only location that has been set up, Shopify has checkmarked Fulfill Online Orders from this location. Let's assume this is the only location you have and it's a physical store where you stock all of your inventory. You sell this inventory both on your online Shopify site as well as customers showing up at this one location where they can purchase items as well as this location offering local pickup and or local delivery. So as we scroll from top to bottom and confirm that all of the information is correct, make sure you look at the phone number, which may be different at this physical brick and mortar location than the phone number you entered in your general settings. After you review everything, click Save. If this is your only location, you'll head to Shopify's shipping and delivery settings where you will follow my next lesson and activate local pickup and or local delivery. But let's say you have more than one location, a warehouse, a second store, an occasional pop-up. You'll continue in the location settings and add those additional locations. For example, let's say you have a warehouse where you stock some or all of your inventory. Let's set up that warehouse location. Back in Location Settings, click on Add Location, and we start filling out the form. Give the location a name. Upper and lower case is my preference. By the way, these location names will also show up in your Shopify admin when you create product pages, as well as in your order and inventory management and elsewhere. And now this product is available at two more locations. All right, let's continue on the warehouse location setup form. Checkmark fulfill online orders from this location. In this setup with these two locations, 
your sales can be fulfilled by the available inventory stocked in your warehouse as well as your main store. All of this with local pickup and local delivery as our overall goal here. In my next lesson, I'll show you how you can allow local pickup only from your main store, but no local pickup from your warehouse, if that's your preference. As I scroll down, I confirm the information for our warehouse is correct, including the warehouse phone number, and hit save. Getting the hang of it, let's add another location. We're back at the location list, and we click on Add Location. Enter the location name and fill out the rest of the form. Double check that the phone number is the best phone number for customers to reach you at this location and hit save. Back at the locations list, let's add a pop-up location where you sell only on weekends at a farmer's market. So we click on add location and give the pop-up a name. Let's pause here for a moment. Even though this farmer's market pop-up may have limited inventory, you do need to checkmark Fulfill Online Orders from this location. Otherwise, you will not be able to offer local pickup and or local delivery from this location. Shopify gives you ways to handle this. Check this lesson's resource page for a link to the Shopify Help Center for setting up priority ordering of locations for fulfilling online orders, including the ability to switch the location you are fulfilling from on the Shopify Admin Orders page. All right, let's continue here. Fill out the rest of the form. For the phone number, you might want to include a cell phone for customers to reach you at this location. Double check everything and hit save. Completing this location, we see that I have reached the limit of four locations. To add a location, I need to deactivate an existing location or upgrade to a different Shopify plan. The maximum number of locations you can have depends on your store's Shopify subscription plan. Shopify Lite gives you three locations. Basic Shopify, four locations. Shopify, five locations. Advanced Shopify, eight locations. And Shopify Plus, 20 locations. There are other advantages of upgrading your Shopify plan. See this lesson's resource section for a link to the most current feature comparisons of the various Shopify plans. See my resources section for a link to the Shopify Help Center for additional most current information regarding locations. That's it for our location settings lesson so far as local pickup and local delivery is concerned. Join me in my next lesson for your shipping and delivery settings where we will activate local pickup and or local delivery for these locations.